Oh shit! I didn't, <laughs> didn't even know that guy was there. <laughs> you bastard! Okay, I'm awake now. I think I messed my pants too. Welcome back, everybody, to Shrouded. I am the Bearded OG, and uh, in this episode, we are going to go uh, continue uh, getting our crafts people. Uh, so if you didn't catch yesterday's episode, we went and got Balthazar. Um, he's the most important to us in terms of our class, anyways. Um, and uh, after I left you guys in the last... Hey! Hey, hey! Uh, after I left you guys in the last episode, um, I went out and gathered more resources in order to make fireball spells, ice bolt spells, and our mage set. Um, so in here, I have made some wood acid and some tar, which we're going to need for both of those things. And uh, as soon as this wood acid is finished, uh, well, actually, maybe I'll let it make some more wood acid. Um, and I think we have everything else we need, too. Let's take a look at Balthazar. For the apprentice set, uh, we're gonna need bone meal, cloth, string, and metal strap uh, scraps rather. Uh, so we got a bunch of bone meal going on in here. Uh, we have a full stack of metal scraps and then some, uh, just from being out and about. Uh, this chest here, which is a the next level up chest, I'm just keeping full stacks of stuff in. Um, I know I need to to serious do some serious uh, inventory management here. Um, which I'll get to, you know, when it gets so bad that I can't stand it anymore, right? And let's see, we're going to need, I know we're going to need shroud liquid. So let's grab that and probably string as well. Okay, let's see if that's everything we need to get our mage set. Hey! hey. Okay, so alchemist hat, alchemist chest, alchemist gloves, apprentice trousers, and we need resin for the boots. Okay. You let me know if you need anything else. I will do that. I will do that. All right. Resin should be in here. Oh, you know what? We're also going to need resin for the fire spell. That seems to be the, the most challenging stuff to come by in quantity. Now, I know that if you cut down the autumn trees, you get more of it. And that's exactly what I did. But uh, if you haven't noticed, there's not a lot of autumn trees around here. <laughs> so... Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Let's make the... See, the thing is, is let me, let's think about this for a second. Um, here, let's put all this on. Okay. Um, if we look at our current... We have two points here, by the way. Um, oh, let's actually talk about this for a second. I'm, I'm sorry I'm getting sidetracked, but this is important. Um, the very next spell that I want is quick charge uh, because this is the one that allows you to it, it basically cuts your cast time in half with the stat with the staff uh, so I think what we'll do is both of these give spirit counter strike after receiving damage there's a 20% chance to reflect 50% of the damage back to the attacker's fire all right um so so we could either go that route or we could go when attacking with a magical weapon, all damage is increased by 10%. I think I'd rather do this because this is a, a chance base. This is just a flat out 10% damage boost. Um, so I think we'll go spirit here, uh, which we might as well do right now. That increases our mana. Um, and then this is the way after we get our next point. And then we're going to go to quick charge. And once, once we have that, then we're going to start going up the... Well, no, sorry. Once we have that, then we're going to actually come over here and work our way towards Blink. Get that done. Uh, blink, and probably it's two sub subcategory spells, and then we'll work our way up the wizardry. So that's kind of our plan right now for, um, you know, for our skills. Okay, so anyway, what I was going to do is let's go to our character. Now, we found these boots, and they do give us some stam uh, regeneration. I wonder if we should keep that because we can't completely ignore our stamina. Otherwise, we're gonna it's gonna cause us some trouble. Um, or uh, okay, what do the boots give us here? They give us a mana one plus mana regeneration. 
I'd like to handle my mana most uh, m more with potions than with stats. I mean, let's see, how do I say this? I'd rather put stats into intelligence over spirit, maybe is what I'm trying to say, or mana regeneration. But, you know, at some point, though, you know, that's going to be a big deal, too. But I can't make mana potions yet. It's not available to us. We have to unlock it somehow. So I think we'll go with these and if, um, uh, you know, and, and I, oh, oh, okay, hold on. We can also, we can also manage mana with Flask of the Fell, which we also can't make yet. <laughs> so yeah, let's just, let's just go pure wizard. And if, you know, if it's really causing us trouble, I might, I might have to change a couple things up. Um, what am I doing? I'm getting string, right? That's what we needed. Oh shit, we're out of string already. Um, okay, let's make some more. I'll turn about half of that or so into string. Okay, we'll make the alchemist boots. And we'll wear those. All right, let's do something else too. Um, let me put some of this. Well, here, let's get our spells made. Um, so I want to make. Yeah, we should make some heal heal channels too. Actually, that's bone meal and wood acid as well. Um, let's make as many fireballs as we can. Because uh, we only get twenty charges with these. Do they stack? I, I don't know what the stack. Oh, well, okay. I guess that's it. We're not making any more. See you soon. I think they stack to at least 100. If we could get one more resin, um, then that would give us another uh, another thing of it. So let's. Uh, there is a, an autumn tree, a pretty good sized one up here on the hill. And. Uh, there's one up there, too. Yeah, let's go grab that. And we'll grab some more water whilst we're over here. I'm not going to get rid of the fur armor just yet. Let's hang on to it. Jeez, man, even if we could do even just do one more, then we can make two more fireball spells. Let's see if we can grab one from a tree. They do drop from normal trees, just not frequently. There we go. Okay, so that, that gives us a total of 124 fireball, which is great. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to um, do, let's do, let's see, ice bolt, that just should, that's just shroud and water, that, that's really easy. Yeah, so let's make some heal channels until we're out of the Aurelian flower. That gives us, what, 80, is that what that was? 84 in total. And then the rest we're just going to do is ice ball, except for he's supposed to give us our... At some point, he's going to give us our Eternal Ice Bolt spell fairly soon. So, I mean, these are cheap and easy, though. So, let's do, let's have at least two full, two full stacks of Ice Bolt. I don't want to make too many because then they, you know, take up too much inventory space. Um, all right. So, I think that's everything that our alchemist can do for us for the moment. Um, except for we should, we could also make a stack of shroud survival potions. Um, wait, what are we missing? Oh, charcoal, right. Okay. We can only have five of those at a time. So let's grab that charcoal out of there. One, two, three, four, five. You're welcome. There we go. Okay. You're welcome. And yeah, we'll throw the bones in there. In fact, I'm going to keep the extra bone meal in there just to save space. I will get my inventory sorted and organized 
um, at some point. I just don't want to mess with it right now. Okay. Yeah, you just keep working on the on the wood acid for now. We're going to put the cloth back in there and the string. And this is a, still a full stack of shroud juice, so we'll keep that in there. That doesn't leave us a whole lot of room in our inventory. These two, you know, I'm just keeping around to, to place down as needed. Yeah. You know, the thing about this, though, is it's just not that big a deal to place this down and then teleport back here to repair and then go back there again. So I think, yeah, I don't know if I want to keep doing that just to save that slot. Uh, once we get to the hunter, then, you know, then we'll be able to increase our backpack space. So, yeah, let's, I'm, I'm not going to destroy it. Let's just keep it in there for the moment. Um, okay. All right, we should be ready to go here um, on our next adventure. We'll put that those sticks in there. This is basically just our crafting supplies crate. We have three lockpicks, so we're good there. We do have one flask of the fell, which is good. Let's go ahead and repair. Um, also, Blacksmith wants to talk to us about the sword we found, Speak up. the Wailing Blade. So he's basically telling us that he made this blade for his daughter. So just a little bit of lore there. Um, and I, we could, okay, we've, we've fully upgraded this, right? And, oh, okay, no, let's do, let's upgrade that to fire magic damage with some runes, uh, which should be in here. We want every little edge we can get. Uh, there we go. Plus three fire magic damage. That's pretty good. Uh, I don't think I'm going to upgrade this just because this is this is our backup to our backup. You know, we may not ever actually use it. So I don't think I want to. I don't. I don't think I want to spend runes on that, and to, at least not for now, because you know we don't have a, a bunch of runes. We have some, but not a ton. All right, so you don't have any more quests for us at the moment. We don't need health potions. We got a stack of 10, so we're in pretty good shape there. As far as our food goes, we have 18 mushrooms, 5 wolf meat, 70 water, and 20 berries for healing. We could, we could replace the berries with... Uh, the Aurelian flowers for spirit. Um, and just rely upon our bandages and potions. And when we have chance, the heal channel for healing. Uh, but we're going to need to go pick some more of those if that's what we're going to do. And I think, well, I'll tell you what, let's just keep the berries with us for now. But we will stop off at the, the farm and get some more Aurelian flowers. And maybe we will buff our spirit. Um, do these require the same amount of mana to cast? That's 46 mana cost versus 38. No. So it's cheaper to go ice bolt. Interesting. Okay. So that's good to know as well. So he doesn't have any new quests for us either. Uh, <laughs> All right. So let's see. What do we got? We have six quests. Uh, we want hunter. We want Carpenter, and it looks like our Cook quest hasn't opened up for us yet. So it doesn't really matter which one. I, I think maybe actually Hunter will probably be the next most useful just because of the fact that, you know, we'll be able to increase our backpack space. Um, so, yeah, let's do, let's do that. So that's the active quest. Um, it is getting late in the day, however. So I think we should rest first. All right, let's do this. So yeah, if, if you go to the right, there's a big chasm that's very difficult to cross. 
Um, with the, the level one glider and yeah, mostly with the level one glider. So I'd like to come down to this side and just follow this pathway. Now we could, I don't know if we can get, oh, that's the other thing we need to do is upgrade to the next flame, which we're going to have to kill the Matron to do that. Um, there is a shroud route in here. Um, if we can get to it. It looks like maybe we can. That'll give us another point, and I don't think there are any enemies. Let's just get our stamina back, just in case I'm wrong about that, though. Um, let's go ahead and take a cooked mushroom and some wolf meat for some health. Um, yeah, we'll take a, one of these. Two. Okay, here we go. Okay, yeah, this isn't deadly shroud. So, oh wait, it's all red. It's because of the mushroom, though. I think. Oh, there are bugs. There are enemies in here. Okay. Level one enemy? Seriously? Okay, that's nothing. Come on, get rid of that stupid puffball thingy. We got we got bugs in here. Why was I thinking there were no enemies in here? Can't take me anywhere. Oh, shit. Um, I'm looking for a bug spawner. I don't see one. Just the pop out of the ground bugs, I guess. Okay. Huzzah! Okay, we'll grab grab all this bug these bug parts. We'll need that stuff later. Oh shit. <clears throat> All right. Better parts. Oh, that's a bug spawner right there. Yeah, get rid of that thing. Um Probably isn't anything behind here, but let's blow it up anyway, just just on principle. All right, so let's see. We got two points now. Uh, we want to work our way towards uh, quick charge. So let's do this is the way. So all magical weapon damage is increased by 10%. Hot damn. Okay, so we need three points for quick charge. That's some nice progress already. Why do I have this in my inventory? Damn it. All right, you know what? Let's go. I'm going to go back to the base, drop this stuff off. I'll meet you guys back over here um, again in just, uh, well, for you, just a second. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? We were going to go down to the farm and get some more Aurelian for spirit. So let's do that first. Oh shit! I didn't... <laughs> I didn't even know that guy was there. <laughs> you bastard. Okay, I'm awake now. I think I messed my pants, too. I want to see if that... Um... That golden coffin down in this crypt resets. Some... 
you golden chests typically do unless they're, you know, like a special story driven kind of thing. It looks like maybe it does. Oh, does that always give the guillotine though? Well, it's still a good source to farm for um uh, for runes, if nothing else, right? This guy's gonna Oh shit. Didn't quite one shot him. Get over here. Mess with the bowl, you get the horn. As my father was fond of saying. Maybe he still is, I don't know. Um, alright. So, how, how many runes do we get for this? 28, alright. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's worth it. Okay, let's go in here. Farm that. Uh, looks like there's some water. And then upstairs. I've farmed this place a million times. Well, maybe not a million, but you know what I mean. Uh, then we can get an Aurelian there, an Aurelian there. Some shrooms. There's a chest on the balcony out here. With more fireball charges. Take it. Nice. And then down to here for more Aurelians. And mushrooms and if we cared tomatoes now we might grab those later on when we can start making dishes if they are beneficial to us but tomatoes themselves are just for dexterity which is an archer skill only and while we're here let's go ahead and get the the honeys too because they're right here this is my farming loop Okay, I think we're ready to, to go now. Talk about a major sidetrack, but it was all very worth doing. Especially getting that shroud root. Uh, because we increased all our, our damage by 10% with that next skill point, which is amazing. Uh, so let's head on over to the hunter. Off here to the right, we have another flame altar. Get another spark. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Um, I'm going to try this with out a stamina boost, but, you know, and, and we'll just see how things go. The, uh, you know, we do have a flask of the fell, and then once we can make those, that'll just be one of our regular... Uh, you know, potions that we'll take. So that will all help, of course, when the time comes. Got some wolves. Oh, oh I think, yeah, I think we're going to fight Vuka here. I don't know. We'll have to decide or, or figure out what their resistances are. All right. We're going to have to kill these two wolves. Let's, um... Whoa. Okay, hold on. I didn't uh, quite do that one right. All right. Ah! <laughs> I'm like just not timing things correctly here. Okay. Why don't we put an altar down here, even if just temporarily? So that way we can get back here. Right away. Uh, okay, we'll put this here, and we're going to buff with spirit, which does give us a mana increase. We'll refresh our intelligence, which is a dam damage, and our health. And uh, we're still just a little bit damaged, so let's use heal channel to fix that. Then 
We're going to see if VUCA are... I think Fireball or Fire in general is probably good against them, but I don't know because I've never paid attention to that. I've always used arrows on them in the past. Um, so let's just see what how that goes down. You know, Fire is definitely good against, like, wolves and probably just about any animal. Uh, but it's not a, it's not so great against scavengers. Isn't there usually a VUCA that hangs out around here? Oh, well, that's interesting. I thought there were a couple of VUCAs that patrolled around here. Good place to get fur. I think that's it for in here. Scary music. All right, there's a there's a book up there, isn't there? There was usually one over here too. Did they change that? Oh no, he's there. Okay. Have a fireball, buddy. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I guess fireball works against Vuka. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. <laughs> My goodness. Well, that answers that question. chest here. Nice. Hey, we got a greater mana potion. All right, that I want on my toolbar. Um, and I want it on my main toolbar. So the torch is not something we need in an emergency situation. We might need the sword. Cool. That was a good find. All right. Okay, we got another Vuk over here. Vuka Buka. Vuka Bazooka. Hey, buddy. Say goodnight, Gracie. Okay. Further up, we got a shaman guy up there. Here, catch, dude. <laughs> okay. Two Vuka Bazookas. Man, we are just wrecking face. We'll loot this guy. Uh, is there anybody over on this side? I don't remember if there is. Uh, yeah, we got a dude right there. Oh, shit. You guys got to quit sneaking up on me like this. You give me a heart attack. All right. You need to, uh... Give me some forewarning before you ambush me. That would be the polite thing to do. All right, I think there's a chest up there. We got to do a little bit of parkouring to get up there. Go up the ladder here. There we go. And is there anything else over? Uh, I don't th think so. I think we're good. Okay. All right, we're gonna need to
Uh, yeah, we we got to do some fancy schmancy parkouring in here, so we got to make sure that. Um, I don't even know if that guy's lootable. We have the stamina to do it. But what we have to do is we have to get up there. Um. Okay, well let's let's try it. I, I'm a I'm a fire mage. I can stand on fire. See, I'm fine. Not hurt me at all. Okay. Actually, I want to do it from this side. I mean, I th you can do it from either side, but I'm kind of more used to doing it from this side. Okay, here we go. No, I didn't. I didn't time that right. Obviously. Okay, we'll try it again. Um, and also. Let's try it again. Here we go. Oh, you know what my problem is? I don't have double jump. I'm expecting to to be able to hit that with double. Does that even mean we can? Can we? Hmm. That might be a problem, you guys. That might be a bit of a problem. Can I? I can't quite get. Oh shit! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> It did actually let me... It registered there. Alright, here. Let's, um... This is... This has got to be possible without double jump. Because not everybody's going to have it. Most people will, but... Maybe what I should do is... Run... You know, get a running start. Okay. There we go. Okay. That actually wasn't that hard. I was making it harder than it needed to be. Okay, so that opened up a door somewhere. Um... No, I don't want you in queue. I want you in queue. Okay, we also have, oh yeah, okay, we have one more button to open up, and there's a gold chest in there, hopefully it'll give us a nice staff, because we're all about the staff, man, we're all about the staff, is this openable, yes it is, right here, alright, what do we get, ring of health, what are we wearing right now? We are wearing Sigil Ring of the Elder, which is 8 Stamina and 10 Health. And Ring of Stamina. Yeah, I don't think... I, I think we need to keep that those for Stamina. I really do. So, yeah, that's what, we're, we're not going to use this Ring of Health. At least not right now. I'll keep it. I'm not going to get rid of it, but... Okay. Uh, let's go up this way. Oh, here we go. And here's our hunter. Scout gloves and four more. Now, I think, is this the one where we can go up on the roof and get... Yeah. Uh, there's more loot up on the roof of this place. I just barely made it up there. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, frozen core wand. Okay. So this is uh, level 3, 14 damage versus level 4, 16. But if we fully upgrade it, it's probably... See, 2 plus mana regeneration, 10% overcharge, 11% overcharge, same attack speed, but we get ice and fire armor and mana leech. I think overall this will be a better staff, uh, I'm sorry, wand once it's upgraded. Fantastic. 
All right, let's head on home and um, get the hunter out, get a new backpack and upgrade this wand and see how it compares. Okay, so as far as strengthening the flame goes, uh, we need to farm some more sparks. All this stuff is pretty easy to get, with maybe the exception of the Scavenger Matron. That might be a bit much for us to take on at the moment, maybe. Might, maybe, maybe might. Uh, and we have four sparks, so that's not that's not going to be hard to, to do. Let's grab the runes out of here, and we'll put all the rest of this shit away. I want to cook the wolf meat up. Uh, looks like we have a full stack of fur there. So full stacks we'll put in this bin. Uh, we'll put the ring of health in here. And the bones can go in here. Oh, I thought these only stacked to five. Did they change that? Hmm, I don't know. Okay. Um. Let's here. Let's just cook this meat, and then we'll get the um wand out and set the hunter down. Um. Let's upgrade the wand next. Oh yeah, see that so that actually went up to 20 damage, so there's no question. So the apprentice one, we will get some runes back, and this is our new ice wand. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Put the runes away. Grab this. And we'll put the hunter in this corner. Othalon Scree. Hello, my friend. Hello. All right. How's it going? Surviving together. I've survived long enough to know when there are others like me. We need to do more than persevere. We must settle down, grow crops. Okay, so she's basically giving us the farmer... Uh, the farmer question, uh, not question, uh, location. I was thinking location and quest at the same time, so it kind of came out as question, 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 lo, never mind. Anyway, um, and yeah, we're going to have to go to the salt mine, but if you guys didn't already know this, most of you probably do by now, uh, at least those of you who have been playing the game, but you don't have to go to the Egerton salt mines to get salt. There's a nice supply of salt really close to here. Um, in the easiest shroud. And there's even another location that's a little further away that you can easily get to from the spire that's also much safer than Egerton. But we got to go to Egerton j just to do the quest. Um, okay, so grow Yeah, so this is Emily, our farmer. And I mean, it's six, one, half dozen, the other. If we went towards Emily, we could try and kill the Matron in the process and um you know then we could do a flame upgrade okay but what i want from you is i want the uh where wait where's our backpack upgrade arrows drying yeah we need to make this which isn't a big deal oh you know what i think what we have to do oh this is this torch is a nice upgrade too we need to do that I think what we have to do is we have to make the the salted fur or whatever it is first, and then that will open up the backpack. So let's get this made. Ten wood logs and some string. Wood and string. All right, we'll craft the drying rack, and we'll just put it right out side here because we don't want that stinky thing in the house um turn r for rotate 
And we have lots of salt. And we have a full stack of hide. Thanks to our VUCA friends. Well, I don't think I don't think they think they're our friends, but uh, dried fur. There we go. Okay, um, for those of you who do not know, let me show you. If you come over here and you glide right down to that little um, fort that's on top of the rock just directly in front of me, um, all around the base of that is a bunch of salt. And it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy, easy enemies, and uh, by far the easiest place to get salt. And you, there's enough of it to where you can get several stacks too. So there you go. Tip of the day. Um, all right, so if uh, once this becomes ready and we pick it up, it should open up the backpack for us. Okay, we got dried fur. Uh, there we go, small backpack. Okay, so we're going to need four of those and some cloth and string. And that will give us... Eight more slots, which will be nice. Yeah, just basically give us another row of slots there. All right, guys, we're going to wrap up the episode here. And uh, in the next episode, we will go after... I think what we'll do is we'll go after Emily um, to get our cook and attempt to kill the Matron in the process. So that is the plan for the next episode. And I'm going to wait, you know, for the... Uh, for four of these so we can get that backpack made and I'm not planning on doing anything else off camera between now and then so we'll probably pretty much just uh, pick up uh, right where we left off. So thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye bye.